Hey everybody, welcome to another day of the course and today we'll look at a state called Samadhi which is a meditative state that you've already been practicing here. By Samadhi, and this is an ancient term used in yoga and Buddhism and other traditions as well, it's often talked about as like a laser focused mind. In this case what I'm referring to is more of a collected mind. It's a continuous flow of metta awareness. Your mind is able to remain aware for an extended period of time. It's not kind of wobbling and distracted by this and that. It feels quite blissful. So there was one study on samadhi, what I think is the most similar to the type of practice we'll be doing here, which found that these two major brain networks that are normally competing with each other, one that comes online when we kind of focus on the external world, like we're involved in doing something, say cutting vegetables and you're just absorbed in the task. And the other focuses on our internal world, like when we're lost in our thoughts, when we're mind wandering about this and that. There seemed to be an increase in connectivity between these two networks. They were no longer in competition quite as much during this similar samadhi state. So maybe you'll experience that more as the course goes on, that even outside of the formal meditation, there's more of a balance that the mind's not always tugging you outside to look at this and do that, and then tugging you inside, lost in thoughts, fears, regrets, worries. And instead there's more of this balanced state of awareness that can do whatever is called for without becoming the thing that you're paying attention to, if that makes sense. So please make yourself comfortable with an upright spine, if possible. And you can begin to relax from the top of your head down to your toes. Relaxing both your body and mind and allowing any tension to just flow out. Softening any areas of the body where you're carrying tension, such as maybe in your face, your neck, shoulders, and anywhere else where it feels like there's tension. And then I'll invite you to smile and enjoy for a minute. Just sitting there with no expectations nothing to do, nothing to fix. Enjoying the perfection of just this moment. And now you can kindle the positive emotion, this warm feeling, in whichever way works best for you. You might think of a happy memory or use a phrase like, may I be happy. You can also picture a cute animal or baby. Or think of a close friend, somebody who immediately brings the sense of metta, the sense of unconditional love into your heart, into your mind.
And as you kindle the feeling, you start to feed more of your attention to the feeling rather than the image or the phrase, because the feeling is the object of meditation here. In some ways, it's like a magnet that will help collect your mind because it feels good to be with that positive emotion. Then your mind isn't searching outwards for pleasure. It's happy to be within yourself, to just rest in this feeling. And so allow it to soak and pervade your body, spreading out. filling up your entire experience with this positive feeling. And if you're somebody like me who tends to try too hard, this is more of an allowing the feeling to spread out, not forcing anything, not pushing. But just noticing. It's like you're watching a movie and you're just watching the feeling grow and grow and radiate outward, all on its own. As you step out of the way, this feeling gets larger, and soon your whole body is glowing, and it feels like your whole mind is glowing, even beyond the boundaries of your body. Subjectively, it can feel like your mind is expansive. And then simply use the four R's if your meta awareness disappears. So if you're no longer aware and you're thinking about this or that, you just recognize release, like opening a clenched fist, relaxing back into your body, and then relish, bring up the positive feeling, relish that and remain with it. Recognize, release, Relish and remain. And the remain is like you're sitting back and watching a movie. And then all you have to do is step out of the movie with the four R's if you forget that you're sitting in the theater. And so you may notice that over time, and this can take several minutes, can take a long time of sitting there, but the mind does start to stabilize at some point as you continue to use the four R's and let go of tension and the mind and body. The awareness collects like a blissful bubble of awareness that's staying there all on its own, content and no longer searching here and there. 
but this isn't brought about by forcing it, rather by letting go of tension, by using the four R's to recognize, release, relish, and remain over and over until the mind remains without effort. And that is what is meant here by samadhi, the collected mind. Okay, so feel free to keep sitting. And if you're ending the session, you might just reflect back and see what you learned about your mind. What was it that distracted you most often? And how many seconds or even minutes did your metta awareness remain collected before the next? distraction? What was the longest period of samadhi? So hopefully as you bring this practice into your daily life, it can be challenging, but if we can remember to apply the four R's and keep coming back to a positive emotion and remaining with it, then you can have this samadhi, this flow of presence as you're going about your day or walking between activities. Especially there's all these spaces in our day where we can practice and maintain some some sort of samadhi. And thanks for taking the time to train your mind. I'll see you in the lesson where we'll talk more about samadhi and how this state comes about.